Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how we add and subtract decimals using the standard algorithm. So let's get started. Mason had $125 on his Xbox account. He bought NBA 2K20 for $24.99 and a year's subscription to Disney Plus for $43.98. How much money did he have left on his Xbox account? So it seems like this is going to end up being a multi-step problem where the first step looks like I'm gonna to have to add the Disney Plus subscription and the NBA 2K20 subscription or game that he bought. Um, so first, I'm gonna add those two products together. And then second, I'm gonna to have to subtract the total amount of what he bought from how much money he already had on his account um, of the $125. So I'm gonna subtract on the second step, okay? And before I even get started with the exact amount of money that he uh, has left on his account, I'm gonna estimate first, okay? So just to make sure that I'm in the right ballpark when it comes to figuring out what my final answer is supposed to be. So if I estimate, I need to figure out about how much money did he have left on his Xbox account. Um, so first, I'm gonna do my step one, but I'm just gonna estimate. So um, I'm going to estimate the $43.98 to the round is, um, dollar amount, and then I'm going to also do the same here. So $24.99 can just be rounded to $25 even, okay? $43.98 can just be rounded to $44 or even $45. You can go pretty close because it's just an estimate. As a matter of fact, I can just go ahead and put $45. That's easier for me to add it up mentally as well in my head. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and estimate. I'm gonna line up my place value amount, so even my decimals are gonna be lined up, and it's gonna be five plus five is 10, so I'm gonna put a zero here and carry the one to the next place over. And one plus two is three, three plus four is seven, right? And then I'm gonna also include my dollar sign. And I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what step two, if I estimate $125, I'm gonna start with that amount because I am subtracting 70 from the $125. And if I do that, again, I'm bringing my zeros down, I'm lining up my decimals, and then five minus zero is zero. 12 minus seven is five, so that's $55. So that's gonna be my estimate. I'm making an estimate first so that I can have a reasonable answer. If my answer comes out to be $12 or $550, then I know I'm off. There's somewhere where I made a mistake because I should be around $55, okay? All right, so let's get started. We're gonna actually do the actual um, subtraction and adding decimals with the actual numbers that we have. Okay, so step one, I was supposed to add. So I'm gonna actually add the exact amount. So I'm gonna add the $43.98. And it doesn't matter which one you put first, you can do $24.99 first if you want. And I'm going to, again, line up my decimals. This is very important when you're adding and subtracting. You do have to line up your decimals. And now I'm going to start in the um, hundredths place, okay? So when we are adding and subtracting using the algorithm, you have to start um, on the right side and then move your way towards the left, all right? So eight plus nine is 17. So I'm gonna leave the seven here and carry the one. 1 plus 9 is 10, and 10 plus 9 is 19, so I'm going to put a 9 here, bring my decimal down, and carry the 1. So when you're adding and subtracting, again, you have to line up your decimals. 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8. 4 plus 2 is 6, and then I'm going to bring down my dollar sign, okay? So if I look at this number here, this is pretty close to what I had here. Okay, $68.97, pretty close to $70. So, so far, I know I'm on the right track. Now I'm going to do step two, which is to subtract. 
this amount from the total amount of money that he has on his account. So I'm gonna go $125 minus $68.97. And again, lining up all of my place values in the right order, okay? Now, I get to subtract using zeros. All right, here we go. This is where it gets a little tricky, but I'm going to have to borrow, okay? So this becomes a 10. I'm gonna have to borrow a 10, but I can't borrow it from um, this 10th place right here because there's nothing to borrow from. So this becomes a nine because this place has to also borrow um, in order to give me what I need, okay? So really, I borrowed from the ones place over here and this 10th, came over here and then that tenth went and then one of those tenths went to the um, hundredths place. All right, so 10 minus seven is three. Nine minus nine is zero. Bring down my decimal. Four minus eight, I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I need to borrow a 10 again. So I'm going to cross out this two and make it a one. Bring this 10 over here to this side to make it a 14. 14 minus eight is six. Now, one minus six, I'm not gonna be able to do that either, so I'm gonna have to cross out this um, number over here in the hundreds place and make it a zero, and then take that 10 that I just borrowed and put it over here on this side. So 11 minus six is five, bring down my dollar sign. Now let me stop and think. It's $56, um, close to um, $55, yeah, that's pretty close. So this is my final answer right here. But this was only one problem, so this is not gonna hurt me at all to go ahead and check. I need to check over my work. I'm gonna do one more step just to make sure I know I got this right. So I'm gonna go to step three, and that is to check, okay? A wise child checks over their work, all right? so. Um, I'm going to go fifth. I'm going to actually add the fifty-six dollars and three cents to the sixty-eight dollars and ninety-seven cents, and I should get what? Yeah, I should get what I started with, one hundred and twenty-five dollars. If I don't end up getting one hundred and twenty-five dollars, then I've done something wrong. Maybe I know how to use the standard algorithm, but I made a simple error. I added incorrectly or I subtracted incorrectly. All right, so let's go. Um, again, it doesn't matter which one you put first because when we're adding, you can go in any order. So I'm gonna actually put this one first. $56.03 plus $68.97. And I'm gonna go through the motions and I'm gonna go ahead and add um, the set. So let me scoop my paper up so you can see everything that I'm doing down here. Three plus seven is 10, carry the one. One plus zero is zero. And then one plus nine is 10. Looking good so far, because I have two zeros here, uh, which is what $125 would have. Um, so that, again, so one plus nine is 10. I have a zero here. I carry the one. I brought down my decimals. One plus six is seven. Seven plus eight is 15. Carry the one. One plus five is six. Six plus six is 12. Look at there. We did it. $125, you guys. So good job today. We practiced how to use the uh, standard algorithm to add and subtract decimals. Great job. See you later. Bye-bye.